wonder why do white people pay so much attention to black people if they don't like them you would think if you didn't like something why would you be paying attention to it i don't pay attention to things i don't like what's the answer the answer is the liar knows what lie he told you see what I'm saying? So even if I made it deceitful and I made you think that the answer is over here, but the answer is really over here, I'm still going to be looking over here. Me, the one that tricked, because I know this is the right answer. Black people have lost their identity, but our oppressors have not lost our identity. Jews for black, there's plenty of proof that uh, within Europe, uh, the Jews were considered to be kind of black. There are many images um, of Jews being black, and um, even if they weren't black, they were not even slightly black. They were kind of considered to be black in one way or another. So blackness and Jews really went hand in hand. If you read his work, or if you read my work, and particularly if you read this new book, you will see the multitude of examples of it. And if you go, for instance, into the, into the marginalia, uh, you know, the illustrations in uh, English or uh, European prayer books in the 13th and 14th centuries, you frequently, frequently, frequently see hook-nosed Jews wearing Jewish hats, and um, with black faces. So the idea that Jews were black is, was definitely there, uh, you know, before the, uh, before the Enlightenment period. And so we should, let's go to the slides now. Just a second, because that, I just need to okay. say, to, in the 19th century, the idea of uh, Jewish blackness was reinforced by the discovery of all of these actual black Jews in India and Africa all over the place. And by 1850, the, the main racial theorists of the day started saying that yes, actually, Jews are Negroes. Negroes, in some way, are also Jews. Jews are Negroes. Negroes, in some way, are also Jews. This is a conflation. It's partly political, it's partly uh, metaphorical, and it's very, very uh, significantly uh, biological. Uh, you will see there's got a lot of, uh, a lot of uh, evidence um, produced for uh, black Jewish communities in different parts of West Africa, which are not sort of based upon a particular reading of tribal history, let's put it like that, but are based from on um, a fairly hard historical fact. And the base, this hard historical fact is the expulsion of the Jews from Spain and from Portugal at the end of the 15th century, subsequent to which, um, a lot of Jews settled, first of all, in northwest um, Africa, places like Senegal, in the islands, <coughs> which I'm sure you know about Saint Thomé and um, Principe, yes, uh, sir. Uh, principally, uh, and then less known um, along the the coast of Guinea. Uh, so that in the middle of the 50, middle of the 16th century, 1560 to be precise, the uh, Portuguese um, Archbishop of Goa in India uh, proclaimed that um, Judaism was a kind of horrible illness which has killed millions of people throughout history and um, the result of um, being Jewish was to be covered in, in shame, to fail in everything, um, even among the black Jews of Guinea. So, in other words, the existence of Jews in the western part of Africa was absolutely accepted at the time uh, by the likes of the Portuguese Archbishop.
Bush 